Hello guys, what is up? Welcome to Game Talk. I actually have a lot of news for you guys today. Um, actually five things of news. The signs only fit four. But we have things, guys. First off, Titanfall. Um, there's a potential it may get a season pass. So we already know there's going to be DLC. This is a huge game. And if it didn't have DLC, I'd have to question my existence. So the developers came out and said there might be a DLC, or not a DLC, it might be a season pass. Also, Titanfall may be in a pilots only mode, which if for those of you who have been living under a rock and have not played Titanfall, just the beta, game's not actually out yet. The pilots are like the people who control the mechs, so basically a pilot only mode would be a mode without the big giant mechs. I think that'd be fun, it'd be kind of like a Call of Duty team deathmatch, but Titanfall's so great, I think it'd be a good like if you ever is someone to like a chill, like calm, like game, I think it'd be pretty fun. So that's that may that would be after launch if it even comes. Um, that's what the article said. Yeah, moving on. State of Decay, everyone's favorite free roam zombie game, still not getting multiplayer. <laughs> uh, the new DLC, Lifeline. Um, don't know. I don't. I didn't find a release date, but it come. It's coming, and you get to control a military unit. So instead of the average controlling that black guy with the cool afro you get to control you're gonna be playing as a new character from what i've seen it looks like you'll be playing as a new character uh... it's a military unit and you have new objectives and fun stuff to do so if you haven't already played state of decay go do it now <clears throat> moving on to daisy one of my favorite games that i've been playing recently on the pc <clears throat> the development team has doubled so like the main dude is leaving s later on next year I think but the the development team is doubling it's twice as big and it's, that's awesome news because like I said that game's so fun and it's still an alpha so it'd be amazing to finally push out at least a beta form and then finally the final game god it's so fun if you guys haven't played it yet it's like 30 bucks and you get the game and it's alpha and go play it it's fun um <clears throat> we're, we're just on the zombie news. It's like the zombie theme. I should have spawned zombies instead of creepers. I didn't even notice. The Last of Us Final Season Pass DLC is going to have a new difficulty for single player. So uh, I don't know the actual difficulty names. I imagine it's like easy, medium, and hard. And that's going to be like Omega difficult. I don't really know. Um, I actually still haven't played Last of Us. Um, so yeah, so that's going to happen. <clears throat> so if you really, really want to challenge and you really like The Last of Us, you can go get anally cringed on this new difficulty level whenever that DLC comes out. <clears throat> Last off, guys, I just want to note the if you are an Xbox 360 Gold member, or maybe even an Xbox One Gold member, if you're an Xbox Gold member, um, the free games you'll be getting this week for March, for this week, this month of March, for the first half is uh, Civilization, and for the second half is Dungeon Defenders. If you haven't played any of these games, stop living under a rock and go have some fun. Because it is a lot of fun. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, raise much appreciated. As always, guys, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Um, yeah, guys, that was the news. See you guys next time.